Hey, superstars. Oh my goodness. I've got a ton of stuff to show off for September, so let's do it to it. First up, Wade Boggs fan is celebrating 500 subs and John wants to hear about five cards that we'd never sell. So Milo's Roy Hobbs card will always make it into any video response like this because he made it for me and it's the best card there ever was. And I think that's three months in a row now that I've had this in a response video. Um, autographs are a big part of my collecting, so I have my very first in-person autograph, Mr. Julio Franco. I met him at a card show when I was a kid. And here's my first through the mail autograph. I read an article in Beckett, I think it was, about how to send cards through the mail, and I was a big Cubs fan at the time, so I was super pumped to get this one back from Mark Grace. T206 has got me back into the hobby a few years ago, and this one is my favorite, the Addy Joss portrait, so you can't have my Addy. Although my next T206 purchase will probably replace this one as irreplaceable, so I don't really know what that means. Uh, this is one of my all-time favorite cards, and this one just so happens to be autographed by three of the greatest guys to put on an Indian's jersey, so it would be very difficult to replace that, so I'm holding on to this one too. So there you go, John. Congrats on 500, sir. So my neighbors are actually catching on to what I'm doing here on YouTube, and one of them is an artist and YouTuber himself. He's a super nice guy and retired art teacher whose channel is called Mr. Shea's Art Room. So if you've got any little kids who might enjoy some cool art lessons, or you might enjoy some cool art lessons yourself, go give it a look-see. Anyway, Mr. Shea dropped these off for me the other day. These are insanely awesome. They're these little record cards from the early 60s. We've got the left hand of God, Mr. Tiger, Warren Spahn, Ken Boyer, Roger Maris showing off his guns, Maz, Willie, and my very first Mickey Mantle card. I listened to a couple of them and they're very, very cool. Really neat. And if you're looking for some affordable oddball vintage, these are fantastic. So thank you so much, Mr. Shea. What do we have here? Dear Scott, I am your biggest fan. I enclosed 50 items for you to sign. Oh wait, I have enclosed this cool auto for you. Take care, buddy. Your friend, Larry the Legend, Media Marauder. Larry, you're awesome. If you want to send me 50 items to sign, have at it. What do we have here? Nice, Alvaro. <laughs> Thanks, man. I love this card. I don't want to call this a contest win. Maybe it is. I don't know. Doug was doing a live stream and giving stuff away, and I was in there being silly or whatever, and he just sent me some stuff. I like stuff. Uh, yo, Scott, congrats on 1K. You are killing it. Blah, blah, blah. Found you some Cleveland cards. Keep on rocking, superstar. Doug. Thanks, Doug. Let's see. Some lenticular action. Larry Doby. Gaylord Perry. Julio. Omar. Numbered Cookie. Nice. Albert. Albert. More Albert. And the 90s Indians. Super cool. Green tape even. Doug knows what's up. And some Superstars music cards. Debbie Gibson. Um, Enough. Zenough. Chromags. And Doug's awesome sticker. Super fun. Doug, thank you, sir. This was a contest win from Vince at Liberty Sports Cards for his 100th sub giveaway. He had to identify a bunch of autographs and photos for a chance to win. And that's my idea of a good time because I'm weird like that. Anyway, I won some autographs and we have John Buck. This is the one I really wanted, Robin Roberts. I've got plans for this. And Mike McFarlane. Thanks, Vince. Here's his card with the Ebays and the YouTubes and the Instas. He's a good dude. Go check him out. David M. sent over some goodies. He won some stuff in my last contest, but he moved recently, and instead of just giving me his address, he sent me stuff, because that's how awesome David is. Wow, banger right on top. Ahmed Rosario Auto, Topps Tech Rookie, number to 10, sweet. Oscar Mercado Autograph, Yellow Mercado, another Ahmed Rookie on vintage stock. That's awesome. Number to 99, and a Chrome for Animal. Wow, David, thank you. These are great. You guys are really spoiling me this month. Uh, Zane Savage always sends me such nice care packages. This one is rather girthy. I did some art of his dad a while back and he wanted to return the favor. It says, thank you for being such a kind human being and great friend. Aw, shuck, Zane. I got an envelope here. Obak Addy Joss, number to five. Nice. Goodwin Champions Addy, number to nine. And the sweet screw down. I'm a sucker for screw downs. And another Goodwin Addy Joss. Very, very cool. I love me some Addy Joss. And what's this? Oh my, look at that. Zane sent me a Guardians jersey. So cool. Zane, this is too much, man. Whoa, look at that Ranger Studios on the back. That is, I'm speechless, buddy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Way, way too nice. 
Um, okay, I can't really top that, but I got a lot more to show off. So I went to the flea market recently. A guy that I bought from quite a few times had some vintage in screw downs that I didn't need. But like I said, I'm a sucker for screw downs. I think I paid like two bucks a piece for these. 51s, uh, Dale Mitchell, Ali Clark, Lou Brissy. 57, Hank Aguirre. Uh, 58, Narleski, Hatfield, Joe Caffey. And King Don all day long. Swing! 54, Bowman, Bobby Avia. 53, Clint Courtney, Vic Wirtz, Bill Glenn, 61, Jim Pearsall, 56, Bobby Avia, and the reason why I bought this stack, a Donald Lewis Mossy rookie card. Swing! Settle down now. And then at the next table over, I scored this sweet autographed Julio Franco postcard. Usually in September, I try to buy myself something really cool for my birthday, but there just wasn't anything that really called to me. I went on a little Bob Wickman kick. He's another one of those guys that I've always liked for no particular reason. I got an autographed rookie and this archive fan favorite, number to 99. I didn't need this Al Rosen, but that was a whole dollar. Here's an autographed Don Mossy postcard I didn't have. And this 1949 early win picture pack was on my watch list for months. It's technically his rookie year, so that's kind of cool, I guess, maybe. I feel like eBay really let me down this month. Um, at the LCS, I picked up this Larry Burkhart rookie. I'm not sure why a Larry Burkhart rookie was so expensive, but I needed it for the binder. And that joke never gets old. Or does it? I, I thought it was funny. But you know what's more fun than eBay? Sports card shows. I went over to Pittsburgh for the mainline show. Pittsburgh is just two hours away from me, and so many cool YouTubers are out there. I got to hang out with fellow autograph nerds Math Bowler and his buddy Papa's Cards, and I got to hang out with Don's Field of Dreams Cards and YouTube Sports Card Hall of Famer Bob Lewis. I had a blast with all those guys. Um, I got this sweet Julian Tavares autograph. I know you're all jealous. Uh, Don bought me this Bill Wamsgans that I had my eye on. This is a 1921 American Carmel Company. Wamby was famous for turning an unassisted triple play in the 1920 World Series, so I'm pretty excited to get my hands on this one. Thanks again, Don. I've been looking for a Jim Hegan autograph. Jim wasn't much of a hitter, but he was a great defensive catcher. He caught for guys like Bob Feller, Early Wynn, Bob Lemon, Satchel Page, and Mike Garcia. Those guys were stellar in their own right, but a great catcher can be a pitcher's best friend, so I'm thrilled with this one. Speaking of pitchers, I snagged this Red Heart Bob Lemon. These Red Heart cards are gorgeous. They were distributed with Red Heart dog food. I've been on the hunt for the Red Heart Al Rosen, but Bob here is no slouch. This is a very nice four. Color's good, no creases. Corners are pretty sharp. Very pleased with that one. And very pleased with this one too. I found a 1967 Venezuelan. Let's see if I can roll the R's. Retarado. Bob Feller, these are notoriously beat up, and this one's no exception. They were printed on really thin cardstock and usually glued into scrapbooks and well-loved by baseball-crazed Venezuelan kids. Still very hard to find and very, very cool. So yeah, the vendors were giving me good deals. I got to hang out with some fantastic people, and it made up for eBay letting me down all month. I mentioned this last week, but my LCS Triple Play Vintage is putting on a card show this weekend. <laughs> hey starting today in fact and i have a table i'll be set up drawing and stuff so you're if you're in the northeast ohio area stop by and say hello i'll leave a link to that in the description below there we go and uh oh yeah i'm planning on starting my 1000 sub giveaway next week but i've been yapping for quite a while now so i will address that in another video okay keep being awesome everybody and big hugs and thank yous and shout outs too Wade Boggs fan, Mr. Shea's Art Room, Media Marauder, Don't Talk to Robots, Liberty Sports Cards, David M., Zane Savage, Math Bowler, Papa's Cards, Don's Field of Dreams Cards, and Bob Lewis. Go check out those guys. Thanks all of you for watching. You guys are beyond awesome. We'll see you real soon.